learning what to look for to keep yourself out of an unsafe situation. That was the lesson from a Lake of the Ozarks domestic violence group and a sexual assault prevention group. The organizations work together to create a training for people to know how to spot unsafe situations at bars and restaurants. Marina Silva joined us live from Lake Ozark with some of the suggestions and how you can attend a similar session. Marina. Well, Lisa, we have all seen it on any given weekend during the summer. Our lake area bars can be filled with people having fun and even enjoying some alcohol. But it's about being aware of your surroundings and how you could potentially save someone from a dangerous situation. One in four women and one in 26 men have experienced rape. Tuesday, the Sexual Assault Prevention Partnership and Citizens Against Domestic Violence held a safe bar training open to the public. A training that can be attended to teach intervention to prevent sexual um, assault and sexual violence within um, restaurant establishments. Lacey Crow is one of the trainers. I'm very passionate about this training because I would like for everybody in this community to get the opportunity to know how to intervene and how to potentially prevent a sexual assault from happening. Training had different tips for people to be on the lookout for, such as intervening when you see something, but in a safe way. Tell a security guard or a restaurant worker if you see something out of the ordinary and document the things you see. You never know if police will come back asking for information. Law enforcement also attended. Our people realize that this is an important training. It's important for us to be aware of what's going on in our own community. And so we weren't going to pass up this opportunity. Oftentimes, sexual assault can go unreported. There's also the added uh, kind of that, that variable of the possibility of someone being drugged. Um, we haven't really taken a lot of reports of that. And I wonder if that's if that's because A, it's not happening or B, it's because someone realizes that it happened days and even weeks afterwards. One of the tips Sergeant Hines gave me was if you think you've been drugged, you think something's happened, go to the hospital so that they can help you. They will have the resources to help you. Now, there is another training. I'll post the link to that in this story and all the information you'll need on this story, ky3.com. Reporting live, I'm Marina Silva, KY3 News.